Welcome to the Tank Academy. I am Ikibu, and today I will be your tank instructor. There are 11 nations in World of Tanks, each with their own unique playstyle and challenges. Among these, you have the Soviet, the US, and the Germans, that feature the largest variety of gameplay and are easy to pick up. That's why we recommend that you research one of these nations first. Now let's look into these in more detail and find out which one suits you most. Soviet tanks can be recognised by their characteristically sloped armour. This offers them some reliable all-round protection, making them forgiving tanks to play, suitable for tankers of all experience levels. The Soviet guns are a force to be reckoned with, and it would be foolish to underestimate their high destructive power. However, their reliability to hit their shots is not the best, and their poor gun depression makes it difficult to aim down at targets. This is a bit of a problem when you're fighting on a ridge line. The line of heavy tanks leading to the I-7 showcases these traits perfectly. It is one of the most widely recommended lines for fresh tank commanders who like to be in the thick of the action. When driving one of these tanks, make use of your decent mobility to take control of key positions and use your powerful gun to bully your opponent. Cover your lower front plate from enemy fire as much as possible as this is your biggest weak spot. American tanks are usually considered to be the best all-rounders, but they are mostly renowned for their sturdy turrets and good gun depression angles. These are the features that allow them to excel at hull-down playstyles. Hide your hull behind terrain or obstacles and watch your opponents bounce shots off your turret. The line leading up to the M48 pattern features great characteristics across the board and fits perfectly into this medium tank role. When playing these mediums, do what American tanks do best. Rely on your strong turret to remain safe while picking your opponents apart. But don't sit still for too long because you still have a weak spot, your cupola. Don't give enemies a chance to shoot at it. Tank destroyers are usually characterised by their reliable, powerful guns. This happens to be the speciality of German tanks. TDs branch off into two categories, well-protected assault vehicles and sneaky snipers. The German tech tree hosts great representatives of both of these types. The vehicles leading to the Grill 15 are the glass cannons that like to hide behind bushes and surprise careless enemies with crippling damage while remaining undetected. Alternatively, as you make your way up the Jagdpanzer 100 line, you will notice increasingly thicker frontal armour. However, don't get overconfident. As you are slow and without a turret, you will be vulnerable to flanking if you get too close to the action. We handpicked only a few lines for you, but all of these nations feature a great variety of gameplay. They will allow you to easily experiment with all tank classes and find out which one suits your playstyle most. Feel free to explore the other lines and even the other nations. Just remember, the most important thing is you have fun. Subscribe for more guides and for all official World of Tanks news, and I will see you on the battlefield.